Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking spirit, how do they feel? Okay, so the person on your mind for this reading, how do they feel at this time? Always keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, okay? Also, these are timeless, so whenever they cross your path is when they're meant for you, okay? Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and at the end of each section of this video. Okay, so today we have three cards pulled from the Spirit Cats Oracle deck and three crystals. For crystal number one, we have the green fluorite crystal with this card here. For crystal number two, we have the citrine crystal with this card here. And for crystal number three, we have the, oops, the rose quartz crystal with this card here. Okay, so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most. If you're drawn to more than one, that's perfectly fine as well. You may have messages in more than one reading, okay? So choose however you'd like and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the green fluorite crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay, crystal number one. So today we're asking spirit, how do they feel? And you got this card here, which is intuition. So your person is really spending some time really tapping into their own intuition. They're feeling like, you know, they intuitively know something about you or your connection. Okay, so I think that they're feeling more with their heart and kind of leaving their mind out of it. So what I feel is like they're kind of balancing themselves here is what I was getting with that card there. Let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number one. How does crystal number one's person feel? Ooh, chariot. Nice. Okay. Yin yang here about balance too. See? Yeah. Balancing the masculine, the feminine energy, really wanting to choose a direction. Very nice energy here. So wanting to move forward, this is about fast forward movement, travel also coming through for someone. So it could be about traveling to you, you could be at a distance. Let's see what else for crystal number one, how do they feel at this time? Ooh, nice, I love this. Unconditional love, yeah, see, open and receptive. So I feel like they're open and receptive to love here. They're opening their heart to you. Mm, very nice. This is about unconditional love too. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful energy of unconditional love, nurturing, um, really being open and receptive to all that the universe wants to deliver. This is beautiful. So they could be, you know, really working on raising their vibration, you know, balancing their energy out with that intuition card too. Ooh. Wow, investing in commitment. Yeah, this could be tangible steps towards some sort of commitment. Hmm. Planting seeds for growth, the Seven of Pentacles. Commitment, the Hierophant. They've learned a lot of spiritual lessons too. So they're feeling, again, more happier, more high vibrational. Look at the smile here. Just enjoying life, you know? So feeling better on the inside is creating better on the outside. Wow. Your person's doing pretty well here on inner work is what I'm feeling. Things are starting to shift upward. Very nice. Let's get some clarifiers. Going to use a different deck here for clarifiers. Let's get some clarifiers today. <laughs> that was fast. Okay. So we have two out for the chariot already. Oh, wow. Yeah, choosing a direction. 
pushing forward and choosing a direction. So yeah, the full energy is about a new beginning, new journey, taking that leap of faith. And the nine of inspiration, you know, it's kind of like after a period of healing, uh, coming out the other side, brighter, happier, lighter, you know? Hmm. So they're feeling good. They're, they're really wanting to push forward toward a new start here. Very nice. Yeah, I'm really liking this energy. And it's funny because I used to use these two decks a lot way back when. And today I was drawn to these and I was like, whoa, I feel like a throwback here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I was drawn to these decks for a reason, though, as, you know, everything is not a coincidence. So let's see why the Queen of Cups. Mm. Walking away from something emotional in their life is what's going to allow them to open their heart here. Hmm. Your person could have something to leave behind, okay? And that's what's going to allow them to open their heart. I feel like right now they might have something kind of blocking their heart space, you know? Um, definitely could be someone else's energy involved here kind of blocking them from receiving that love. Maybe they're not feeling like they're in the right place to receive it at some point. And now they're starting to feel like they are. So this is really good. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, so yeah, they could have recently, you know, really accomplished something here. They're balancing their energy out which means, you know, maybe releasing some stuck or stagnant energy from their past, you know? Mm, okay. Seven of Pentacles for crystal number one. How does that person feel? Seven of Pentacles. How does that, thank you. You have two. Yeah, look at this. Mm, awakening to more in the star. Two major arcana. So hope for the future. Yeah, wow. Planting seeds. Now they're hopeful for a brighter future. Look at these. Both of these have these big light beams, right? I feel like that's their connection to source with intuition. Hmm. Starting to realize their own power here and realizing that they can create that dream. Having hope for this dream, but they can create it. Yes, wow, this is really nice. Really, really nice um, growth energy here. Hmm. Okay, let's see the Hierophant for crystal number one. How does their person feel? The Hierophant. Why do we have this here? This is about commitment. Knight of Voices. Wow, wanting to rush right in too. Ooh. This could be a quick mover once it takes... Um, once the next step happens, I feel like this might be a quick mover, okay? You might already know, right? Deep in your heart's intuition. You might already know that this is your person. And yeah, uh, wanting to rush right in and make that decision to be with you, to commit to you. Whew, wow, this is powerful. I'm loving this energy today. The great start to a great day. All right, let's get more. Also... Gemini and Aquarius coming through here. Okay, Gemini and Aquarius. Um, I've been asking for more zodiac signs to possibly come through. Uh, Gemini and Aquarius are air signs. So yeah, we have Knight of Voices. That could be why. And it could be for someone in particular, of course. Ooh, Magic Maker. Wow. So yeah, they feel like this connection is magical. They feel like it's special there's something about it they are working with the universe here they're really connecting to source really connecting look at this spirit bringing this to my attention manifestations beyond your wildest dreams okay so this is what this person right here was dreaming here now so this manifestation i feel this coming through here is saying that this is coming you know this manifestation is on the way because when we desire that manifestation to come in, it's not on our timeline. It doesn't always happen exactly when we want it to happen. But the universe wants you to keep faith and trusting 
that it is on its way. Whatever you desire is on its way. So this person is feeling that, you know, they're in that faith, that hope, that dream for their future. And they're planting seeds for growth here. So this is really, really good. Internal shift, creating an external change or shift. Very nice. What else for crystal number one? How does their person feel? Ooh, you're going to like this one. Uh-huh, love offer. Yeah, that's this here. Really wanting to rush in and kind of, you know, commit in some way. Of course, these are general readings. So everyone's place is different, of course. Okay, everyone, where they are in their journey is different. So what a love offer means to one may be something different for another. You could be, you know, in a relationship. So the next step might be engagement, you know, to marriage, you know, something like that. Or you could be just dating and this person wants to be exclusive. Let's get more. Whoa, fancy flyer. <laughs> that was fast. I barely, ooh, worth waiting for. Yeah, divine timing. That's what I was getting with the magic maker card. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. So everything is working out as it should. Everything is happening as it should. They're feeling like they're having that trust and faith is what I feel. They're feeling really good. They're happy regardless because they just know it's on the way. Okay, let's get more. Crystal number one's person. How do they feel? Crystal number one's person. Thank you. Coffin ending spring. And look where it fell. If you could see. Now you couldn't really see it. But here it is. It fell right underneath this eight of emotions. Kind of off camera. But right there. So there is endings that have to happen. In order for them to. Like I was saying earlier. Right. They kind of felt blocked off. Their heart might have been closed down. They could have even been distanced from you. Because they couldn't open their heart fully until they kind of cleared out whatever needed to end in their life. So endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, you know, transition. Everything is about to shift and change. Very nice. Wow. Okay, let's get more. How does Chris... <laughs> These are coming out so fast. Inner journey. Yeah, that's what I feel like they've been doing all along here. That's what this is all about. A, a huge shift, inner journey, awakening, you know, ascending, learning those lessons, transcending those obstacles, shifting that inner inner peace, right? Creating inner peace and shifting and balancing their energy out so they can, you know, really see that shift happen in their reality. You know, can it happen? Like, can things happen immediately? Yes, but do they always? No, it depends on, you know, the divine. The universe doesn't make mistakes. So I feel like they're just having faith that they know. Yes, see, it's time to release negativity. They know it. That's what this is. It's something that's in their system even. It doesn't have to be a current situation even. It could be past stuff even, okay? But it's time to release that negativity and move forward. Also, Scorpio coming through here. Okay, so yeah, there is a need to release this negativity. And I feel like that's what your person is doing right now. That's how they're feeling. And it's bringing about this confidence that the universe is on their side and that everything is working out as it should. It's very, very beautiful. Okay, let's get some of these. I'm mixing it up, taking all, I, I was drawn to all different kinds of cards today. So <laughs> let's see. How does crystal number one's person feel? How does crystal number one's person feel? Okay, we have lonely. Okay, so they are missing you at this time. Okay, they are kind of wanting to be closer is what I'm getting with lonely. Uh-oh, having trouble with my focus. There we go. Um, I think it'll be okay, though. That might have been an isolated incident, that lonely being blurry there. But yeah, your person is um, feeling a little bit like they're missing you at this time. 
So they are longing to be, you know, with you, this new journey, you know, wanting to push forward, choose that direction and go for it. Make this quick, decisive action toward you. What else? Oops, do I have a flipper? Happy. Yeah, I told you. That's this card right here. He's going to go over there with him because that is exactly what I was feeling with this higher fence. Smiling and feeling happy on the inside, okay? Oh, there we go. <laughs> feeling happy on the inside, which is creating that outer shift. Very nice. What else for crystal number one's person? How do they feel? How does crystal number one's person feel? Ready. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one ready I like that so they're feeling ready to go okay wanting to be closer take this to the next level you know we had love offer come through as well very nice one more please of these and then we're gonna get some different cards too how does crystal number one's person feel at this time please how does crystal number one's person feel driven nice yeah very very focused Ooh, no my camera doesn't want to focus today can my camera be driven thank you <laughs> uh driven so they are feeling focused and motivated here to create change that's a good thing okay let's get some of these out too how does crystal number one's person feel at this time we yeah. have Okay, right from the middle of the deck, we have. Hmm, okay. I just wanted to see, because I was being like kind of, I felt like I had to look at the back here. I thought it was going to be your crystal, but it's not. But Rose Quartz is one of the crystals. So that might have messages for you. Okay, crystal number one. Um, because I was being pulled to look at that side. Um, at peace yeah so they're feeling at peace now see that's what that that inner peace they're creating very nice very nice let's get more for crystal number one <laughs> now i was gonna say three see i think three three might have messages for you okay because I picked up the card, I was looking at that side, and then Spirit had me flip it over, and I was like, I thought this crystal came through, so I thought it was this crystal, but it wasn't. But Rose Quartz is there, so, mmm, passionate, nice, a energetic and transformational flow. Do you see that there? Oh my goodness, my camera today. I'm going to have to fix something here. Something's off. There we go. Energetic and transformational flow. So they're feeling in flow with the universe and they're feeling very passionate about you as well. Very nice. Let's get more. How does crystal number one's person feel? We have playful. So they want to have fun too. Yeah, they're wanting to have fun with you. Enjoy some time together. You know, there might have been a lot of you know, kind of heavy energy um, in the past of this connection. Let's get one more of these. Crystal number one's person, how do they feel? Yeah, I haven't used these in so long, mood crystals. I was like, wow, you know, I'm gonna, um, wow, trusting, nice. Okay, so yeah, they're trusting in the universe. Yeah, I haven't used these in so long. I was like, oh, wow, you know, I haven't used these in forever. And I was like, yeah, me as well. I feel like using them today. So there you go. <laughs> trusting. I do trust. And funny because this card coming through as I'm telling you that. I do trust that whatever cards I'm drawn to, whatever cards I pull are the right cards for you in that day, you know. Um, sometimes I am drawn to I have so many decks and I use all of them all the time like a lot of them not all of them but I do use a lot of them all the time because I feel like there are messages in each deck but today I was feeling uh yeah these specific decks so I feel like this is important here but trusting yeah very trusting in the universe in what they feel you know for you so they're feeling more again at peace you know they're feeling happy and joyful on the inside and maybe having trouble speaking or expressing something here because my throat just crackled and clogged up 
So I don't know if that has something to do with uh, your connection. If they haven't said something to you or, you know, if you're waiting to hear something from this person or something. Okay. Leo, Leo energy coming through too. Thank you, spirit. All right. Let's get some message cards. And then I do want to get you a couple guidance cards too. <laughs> Told you this is a, this is a different one today. How does crystal number one's person feel? Or what would they like to say at this time? First one, you're always on my mind. Nice. So you're always on your person's mind, very much at the forefront. Think about you all the time. I feel like they could even uh, fantasize about you too with that card there. Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. Aw, so they really do like hearing your voice. Very nice. Wishing that you would talk more, maybe. And of course, keep in mind general reading. So if you talk to your person all the time, wishing you would talk more might not apply to you or it might. Maybe they want to talk to you even more, <laughs> you know. Only you know. You have to always follow your own intuition with these readings. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number one. Whoop, thank you. I want to kiss you. Oh, sweet. So they want physical touch too. They are missing you. Lonely coming through. So they are missing you and wanting you close to them. And mm, I underestimated how important you are in my life. Wow. So in the past, they might have, you know, maybe taken you for granted or something like that there. Okay. All right. Let's get you some guidance cards too. Some guidance for crystal number one in this situation. Whoa, that's messy. Ooh. Okay, so I just have a mess here. <laughs> I just dropped a bunch. We have release expectations. We have Claire Audient. Ah, pay attention. Listen to your higher self. What was I just saying? And then believe. Nice. And then rest. Okay, so we got four immediately. <laughs> All at once it was kind of a mess but I'm told to take them so all right so we have the first one release expectations live in the moment with no expectations go with the flow okay so yeah just listen to what the messages say for you and you know take it in and clear audience pay attention tap into your power listen to your higher self you may also receive signs in the forms of songs, okay? So you might be getting signs in the form of songs, crystal number one. And remember intuition. You're both kind of following your intuition here, okay? Believe, be optimistic, think positive, and believe all is possible. Yes, and I believe that that's where your person is feeling at this time, too. It's falling right over that hierophant, too. And then rest. Listen to your body and take time to rest when you need it. Okay, so don't overdo it. Just kind of rest when you need it. I wasn't expecting four, but we got four. So we'll do this. <laughs> Sounds good. There we go. Um, so rest. Listen to your body. If you feel you need a break, you know, take that break. You deserve it, you know. Rest, recuperate. Your energy is very important. So take care of your energy in the process, you know, focus on yourself, self-love, self-care, things like that. All right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the citrine crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number two. So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? So the person on your mind, how do they feel right now? Meditation. So this is really good. They're really spending some time working on self, uh, really working on that inner peace. Okay, so this is really beautiful, kind of like Zen energy is what I'm getting from your person at this time. So this is kind of good. Okay where you need to be to flow crystal number two's person how do they feel Ooh, first one out is the world so a big cycle completing in their life 
with the world card and a new cycle beginning. So this could be through a transition for your person. So they're, you know, really quieting the mind, trying not to overthink things, just kind of getting through things, meditating and contemplating next moves at a peaceful state, not an overthinking type of state. Okay, so very nice, peaceful energy. Crystal number two, how does their person feel? At this time, how does their person feel? Three of Wands flipping over here. There we go. Yeah, so they're wanting to take next steps, broadening their horizons, really opening up to change and moving forward. Three of Wands is about taking next steps, you know, so moving forward with something here. Could be toward you, of course. Um, broadening their horizons, so seeing that there's more available to them as well. Mm, very nice. Could be something that you've been waiting for because the Three of Wands can also be kind of like waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for the perfect wave. Divine timing. Okay, divine timing. <laughs> so yeah, something you've been waiting for, but divine timing coming through there on the Three of Wands. Let's see what else. For crystal number two. How does that person feel for crystal number two? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have high priestess and ten of wands. Nice, putting burdens down. Yeah, so whatever this past situation, this cycle could have been burdensome, you know, and they're following their intuition. See, they're really tapped in. So they're feeling very connected to source, very connected to their higher self. Uh, really vibrating at a higher level and realizing that, you know, something needs to be put down with the Ten of Wands. I do feel like that's together, um, those two. So really having like a deep realization about something, you know, acceptance. What else? Oh, is that two as well? Yep. Paid. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so that your person definitely is focused on you, okay, with the Page of Swords, and they are manifesting you into their life. So they're kind of at this place where, again, Three of Wands is about moving forward, taking that next step. So they're kind of at this place where they're kind of sick of just watching from afar. They want to enjoy life with you. So they're trying to manifest you into their life. They're like, this is it. It's time. Also, this infinity symbol uh, could be a very high level soulmate or twin flame we're talking about here uh, coming through on this card, uh, this infinity symbol for you. So, and of course, only you know if someone is your twin flame. Um, but yeah, they've, they've been watching you from afar, kind of keeping their eye on you, not in a stalker or creepy way. It's out of deep love. Okay, so they really do care about what, what's happening in your life, but they also want to share what's happening in your life is what I'm feeling. What a beautiful message here. Wow. So yeah, they're trying to manifest you. So your person is very, um, very much following their intuition now you know, trying to keep themselves out of their mind and, you know, wanting to move forward. Very nice. Okay, let's see the world card. Why the world for crystal number three? Why the world card for crystal number three? No, not crystal number three. Oh my goodness. No, not crystal number three. <laughs> Oh my goodness, are you connected to three maybe? That's strange. There was a message for crystal number one. That they're connected to three, so now maybe you are too. That's strange, okay. Crystal number two, <laughs> let's, uh, let's fix that. Crystal number two. Yeah, it could be messages for you in three though. Yeah, kind of what I'm feeling there. Hmm, interesting. Three may be pretty, uh, pretty full of different messages coming through because I don't know. I haven't done three yet, so <laughs> we're still on you guys. All right, let's see. Crystal number two, please. The world card. Why the world for crystal number two? 
page of voices. <laughs> yeah, again, right? So they're keeping their eye on you, even while they're completing a cycle. Yeah, we, we definitely have already figured that one out. So even if they're in a situation where they're not with you or they're, they're working on something else, they're still hyper focused on you, hyper focused, like really um, strongly, even, you know, just thinking about you all the time and things like that, like really focused on you. Yeah, like, look at you're like dancing around in their mind. They could even be, you know, dreaming, fantasizing. It's like you're active, very active in their mind. These people are all dancing. So you're very active in their mind, in their, on their, in their mind, on their, no, in, on their mind, in their thoughts all the time. Wow. Okay. Couldn't get that out there. <laughs> Trying to say it too fast. It was all coming through and I blah, 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 <laughs> stumbling over my words. Maybe they stumble over their words sometimes. I don't believe in coincidences, so that might be happening for a reason too. Let's get the three of wands. Why this three of wands? For crystal number two, three of wands. Wanting to take that next step, broaden their horizons, really move forward. Why this three of wands? For crystal number two. We. Okay. Oh, seven of inspiration and the ace of inspiration. Okay. So you're getting a lot of cards too. Two, two, two. Could be coming together here. Mm. Lots of two cards coming out together. That doesn't, not for every reader, but for me as a reader, when a lot of like two cards together come out, I feel like it could could potentially be um, indicating union, you know, coming together, two people coming together. Ace of Inspiration is a passionate new star, a bright idea to get there, okay? A bright idea, next step to take. And Seven of Inspiration is kind of about protecting yourself or them protecting themselves or them protecting you. Uh, it's about like kind of protecting your energy and then kind of working in silence is what I'm feeling here today. And then coming out like feeling amazing. Look at this. It looks like she's like, ta-da, here I am. And there's this big sun shining in the background, you know? It's like, yeah, it's like not talking about it or not. It's, yeah, it's protecting it until it kind of manifests. Hmm, okay. So take that as it resonates, it, protecting it until it manifests. So not talking about what they're trying to manifest, you know, just kind of working on it. And yeah. And then when it happens, it's like, ta-da, <laughs> you know, or maybe they'll be, ta-da, maybe they'll be like surprising you with whatever this is too, you know, could be that they're surprising you. Hmm. Maybe they've been at a distance, protecting their energy, kind of working on something in silence, and then they kind of show up and like, ta-da, here I am, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Anyway, general reading, so only take what resonates with you. I can only give you what comes through here. So High Priestess, Ten of Wands, why this for a crystal number two? Why the High Priestess and Ten of Wands? Why do we have this energy here? I feel like they're definitely tapping in two there. Thank you. We got two again. <laughs> okay. Six of, ooh, six of voices, four of wands, four of inspiration, which is the four of wands. Wow. That's pretty big. Um, so, oops. So we have, this is big. Them really tapping in, really kind of following their intuition, you knowing that something was burdensome in their life and having to release it, you know, with this world card, six of voices moving forward toward commitment. The universe helping out like look at that right the hand helping them out across this bridge that's all spikes that's all those obstacles the universe is saying here's the way putting their hand out and allowing your person to kind of walk through so really helping and guiding your person toward commitment toward what their heart desires you know hmm very nice very nice. Okay. What else do we have for the Magician Page of Swords? 
So they've got their eye on you. They're paying close attention to you. They're very focused on you. They're trying to manifest you. And a very powerful soul type of connection coming through there as well. What else for crystal number two? Thank you. We have Ace of Voices. Two again. Ace of Voices and Page of Emotions. Wow. So two cards coming out again together. Get a lot of cards. Whoops, a lot of two. Two, 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 two. Yeah, five of them. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Now oh, I messed them all up. <laughs> all right. So we have the Ace of Voices is about, you know, clarity. Clarity of mind. And look at this big beam, like connecting to spirit, right? Intuition, tapping in communication they could be feeling the need to want to communicate something to you here and this is about dreaming of the future page of emotions so daydreaming yeah look at right dancing around in their head so they're dreaming about the future with you they're really kind of looking forward to something with you as well you know sharing their life with you here hmm very nice and they're very clear. So they might have been confused in the past, you know, or might have appeared confused in the past. Or maybe they were truly just going back and forth in their head with something in the past, but now they're, they're gaining some sort of clarity. So I don't know if you can see all these, probably not. There's a lot of cards there, but okay, let's get some Oracle cards to further clarify. How does crystal number two's person feel at this time? We have, we, hmm, cute. Yeah, black and white, nothing is black and white. So things aren't necessarily as they appear. Yeah, right? Kind of doing something in silence. Things aren't always as they appear coming through here so just kind of have faith in the unknown is what I'm feeling here and road less traveled wow yeah so they're they're ready to kind of go into the unknown broadening their horizons that already came through so whoops so yeah they are ready to oh hold on spirits telling me to take that one that's why I lifted this deck and this one came up with it and I put it back but I'm being told to take it so we have vision hmm they looking up at the stars too with Stargazer. This cat's name is Stargazer. So they're always looking up at the stars and the clouds and kind of thinking about you um, with vision. You are a vision of the future. See, so they are envisioning you together. They are daydreaming about this future. You are part of that vision. Very nice. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number two, how does their person feel? How does crystal number two's person feel? Mm, walking away from something. Yep. Yeah, there's, and look where it's falling. See, now that one came out and now that's synchronistic to me because this one came out. I was gonna put this one here, but now I'm putting it right here near this old cycle. So your person is walking away from something that they know they need to. Intuitively, they know it's burdensome right with this 10 of wands high priestess intuitively they know it's burdensome and they need to kind of leave it behind and they're feeling stronger and more ready because they're tapping into source they're tapping into who they are at the core and trying to leave their mind out of it you know trying to really focus on ooh, really focus on what they feel romantic feelings instead of what they think and chemistry okay being told to take that too so you guys have chemistry off the charts and romantic feelings very strong powerful love feelings for you and they're worth exploring okay spirit bringing that to my attention worth exploring so this person is feeling like it's time to explore what I'm truly feeling and not allow my mind to kind of take over. And you have this immense magnetic connection and chemistry between you. It's very, very powerful. OK, 
Okay, let's get more for crystal number one. How does their person feel? Nope, not one. Oh my goodness. I cannot get it right with you guys today. <laughs> crystal number two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does that mean there's message? May there could be messages there for you too. Of course, always follow your own intuition though. Just because I'm saying that doesn't mean that there is. If you were intuitively pulled to one but then chose two, maybe that means that there are some in one. And if you were intuitively pulled to three, because that came through earlier, if you're intuitively pulled to three and two, maybe that means it's in two and three. Okay, so always follow your own intuition with that as well. But it's coming through for someone. So I do feel, again, I don't believe in coincidences. Um, so yeah, I feel like for some of you, maybe one and two resonated for you. And for some of you, maybe two and three. Okay, let's get more. How does crystal number two's person feel? How does crystal number two, thank you. We have lightning. Ooh, sudden change. Surprise epiphany. Yeah, see? So there is a sudden change happening in their life. This is kind of like the tower um, energy. So it could be that, you know, whatever's ending is, is finally coming to a close and they're able to start this new cycle. But it's through an epiphany that they receive while they're really connected to self. Okay, all of the answers are within. I feel like your person has had some sort of a realization with this ace of inspiration too. It is, it's kind of like inspired action, right? So they're feeling um, very inspired to take this forward moving action. Yeah, see healing energy. They're tapping in, they're healing themselves, they're getting themselves into balance. You know, they're feeling really more at peace within. So this is really good. Let's get more for crystal number two. How does that person feel? I'm using different decks today too. So you can be like, what? I hardly ever use these as well. But I was feeling drawn to them. And of course I go with, ooh, I go with what um, resonates at the time. And really what I'm drawn to. Surrender to the divine. Look at that. Wow. So they are in acceptance. Yeah. They could have been holding on to something too, you know, in the past. And now they've had this realization that this is what's burdening their, themselves in their life. And they need to make a better choice for themselves. Surrender to the divine. Accept that whatever it is needs to end. And let things unfold. You know, making space. Endings bringing new beginnings. That makes space for more to come. Okay, let's get more. How does crystal number two's person feel? How does crystal number two's person feel? At this time, we have needy. Hmm. So something is maybe... Hmm. They might be needing assistance with something. Well, they might be feeling kind of like a longing or a yearning for you. Oh, good. Here we go having trouble with focus today again um strange because i have not moved the light this time so <laughs> um but yeah needy so they might be feeling like they kind of need you in their life they might be really like you longing and yearning for you is kind of what i'm getting with that card yeah like needy meaning wanting you close you know needing that touch feeling emotional that love all right we have a flipper here thankful so they're thankful for you too yeah they're feeling very thankful for everything that you've ever encountered together every moment mattered oh sweet every moment mattered so they're really looking at memories with you fondly and really being thankful for those times very nice the attitude of gratitude that'll help to draw it back into the good energy toward you Oh, loving, sweet. Yeah, they are loving you. I cannot get this. There we go. <laughs> they are loving you and feeling those romantic feelings and really wanting to... Oh, I thought it was going to flip. Really wanting to be closer. Okay. Let's get one more for crystal number two. How is their person feeling? Oh, okay, or... 
I love when spirit does that. Can I get one more? And then it's like, nope, you can get, oh, look at the bottom too. Yeah, spirit did just bring that to my attention. See, yearning. Yeah, that's kind of what I was feeling with this one. Okay, so that is what, what's going on there with that needy card. Oops. Intuitive. Yes, we already have the high priestess out here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Intuitive. So we have that for sure. They're feeling like they kind of know. They're they're following their heart. Yeah, inner peace. Beautiful. Okay. So they are feeling that inner peace. I'm just going to put them here, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that many. So we'll, we'll try this way. There we go. And then accepting. Yes, there's that acceptance. Surrendering to the divine and accepting things as they are. And then knowing that, you know, everything's going to work out for the future. Very nice. I'll fix these two. We have needy and yearning. Definitely was feeling that. Um, that's for that one there. Okay, and now let's get some more. For crystal number two, how is their person feeling? How is their person feeling at this time? We have empathic and at peace. Oh, nice. Yeah, another at peace and empathic. I feel like they kind of, you know, they're really understanding you know, your side of things, you know, um, if this is something that you've been waiting for, you know, I feel like they really do want to make things good is what I'm feeling there. And because they're feeling at peace with, you know, maybe what they're letting go of, you know, feeling at peace and allowing things to shift. Very nice. Let's see what else. What is crystal number two's person feeling? What is crystal number two's person feeling? Anxious. Okay, so they might have a little anxiety and proud. So, yeah, proud to have you. Oh, thankful for you. Proud to have you in their life. But there is a little twinge here of anxiety coming through. Okay, so maybe they're a little bit nervous about new beginnings, you know, um, starting over. It could be that this person was in a very long term type of thing and they're having to let go, you know, maybe a job that they had for years or a relationship or something like that. And it's kind of giving them a little bit of fear and anxiety about, you know, leaving it behind and starting new. I mean, it's kind of normal human emotion to feel, you know, when there's big change going on and there definitely is big change here with the world card. Let's get some message cards. What would your person thank you i want to kiss you oh sweet so yeah they're wanting closeness they're wanting physical touch crystal number two we have a flipper i should have fought for you and you're worth more to me than i let on huh so maybe this could be a situation for some of you of course this is coming through though for someone this could be a situation where in the past you were connected and then you disconnected and maybe you moved on with your life. They they feel they should have fought for you, but maybe they weren't in a position to at that point in time. And you are worth more to them than they're letting on. So they might have not told you their true feelings, how deep they feel for you. Okay, let's get one more. And then I'm going to get you some guidance cards too really switch things up today. I was drawn to a bunch of different things <laughs> for this reading. Usually I use like all my decks. I'm drawn to all of them. I feel like, yes, there's a message in all of these, <laughs> like, you know, or m not all of them, because obviously some of these you probably haven't seen in a really long time if you've been watching my channel. You know, it's, there's just so many. Mm, yes, this is already coming through, but yeah, I've been manifesting you. So yeah, they definitely are working with the universe here, trying to co-create their desires, which is you, into their life. All right, let's get some guidance cards for crystal number two. Guidance for crystal number two in this situation, in this connection. We have speak and focus on yourself. Okay, so first was speak 
speaking your truth may help this situation okay and of course always follow your own intuition don't let a reading tell you to say anything to anyone if you feel you need to that's when you do okay focus on yourself focus on what makes you the happiest very good and I was gonna get three but we got four for crystal number one so I decided we'll get four for you as well for crystal number two guidance please for crystal number two in this situation whoa okay <laughs> this is a big mess that's not them these two flipped we're going to take these two clear aliens pay attention tap into your power you are receiving signs in the form of scents mm. so you could be smelling your person's perfume or cologne or some sort of smell that reminds you of them. Food, food for some of you. They could be a chef. Huh, interesting. I love when, when um, specific messages come through. A chef coming through food, so they might cook a lot and you might, you know, smell something that they cook when they're nowhere around you, like, you know? Mm. And faith, yes. Difficult roads often lead two beautiful destinations have faith that through challenge a blessing will be revealed yes 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 and look at the universe right here right what do they say about the obstacles helping you right across you or your person this could apply to both of you right so have faith that the universe is on your side and that everything is working out as it should Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the rose quartz crystal, and the, this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking spirit, how do they feel? and you got night magic so your person is what i was getting here was that they're feeling like they're um connecting and manifesting you okay so they are working with the universe i feel scripting or some sort of journaling going on um and they're feeling happier and more grateful at this time for you also coming through was night magic wanting to kind of get together okay so for a date it doesn't have to be at night some sort of get together uh, coming through with that card there okay and it doesn't like I said doesn't have to be at night but it's some sort of you know hookup or you know not necessarily hookup meaning sexually but like getting together spending some time um, whether it be breakfast or lunch or dinner um, or whatever you know floats you guys boats of course you know everybody likes different things but yeah it's definitely something like being closer spending time I'm manifesting that so I feel like well it could be manifesting more than that too but I feel like they're definitely trying to manifest some sort of a get together okay let's see what else how are they feeling oh this one almost flew away Ooh, single and independent so yeah ready you know they're feeling very confident in themselves nine of pentacles they're feeling you know confident and ready you know single available so if they weren't then maybe they are now <laughs> judgment if they weren't then maybe they are now and judgment flies out so yeah there could have been a judgment surrounding that hmm, hmm this could be a divorce here because, you know, I don't believe in coincidences, obviously. So that came through. And as I was saying that, this one flew out judgment. So there could be a judgment in like a court case or, you know, a divorce case or something like that. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So for some of you, of course, general reading. So it might not be for everyone. So they could be feeling free, you know. Oh, my spirit is free. Like, look at this card. Like, really, my spirit is free. Look at that right the spirit is just happy joyous blissful um you know rising above some sort of situation yeah there's something there hmm interesting okay let's see how does crystal number three's person feel at this time Ooh. 
this card's stuck. Like, really? What is going on? <laughs> okay. Are those my cards? Like, I don't know. I could not shuffle past them. <laughs> I'm gonna take them. Because I could not shuffle past them. That was so weird. And the cards aren't sticking together or anything. It's not humid. It's quite chilly, so... Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Hmm. So they're wanting to reciprocate and reconnect. Yeah, there's that, exactly that energy I was getting on that night magic. Why wouldn't they just fall out, though? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just wondering why they felt, why it was that way. But I guess it doesn't matter. Because um, I'm feeling drawn to take them, so... But yeah, they're wanting to reconnect with the Six of Cups. Past life or soulmate connection here. Possibly a twin flame as well. Of course, only you know that. And Six of Pentacles wanting to reciprocate. So could have been, you know, in a situation where they couldn't in the past. And now they're feeling like, yes, I can finally reciprocate, you know. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Oh, hidden feelings too at the bottom. So I'm being called to pull that one too. So they might have had hidden feelings about you that they haven't spoken as of yet. Okay, that could be what this reciprocation is. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. It could be that, you know, you maybe told them how you feel in the past and they didn't reciprocate that energy. Yeah, I'm really feeling that. Also, Black Feather, a sign for someone. So look up Black Feather. Maybe that is relevant for something in your life here in this situation. Speaking a truth. So they're feeling like speaking a truth, reconnecting, and they're feeling free, liberated. You know, their, their spirit is soaring at this point in time. Uh, and it could have to do with this Nine of Pentacles here. We're going to see with the clarifiers right now because <laughs> I'm curious. Nine of Pentacles, please. Why the Nine of Pentacles? What is this Nine of Pentacles about for Crystal number three? How does their person feel? Mm, yes. Nice. Knowing what they deserve. So they've walked away from something that they, now they know what they deserve. That's why their confidence is on high. They're feeling free. They feel like, you know, maybe they were stuck in a situation in the past where they, they weren't getting what they deserved, but they kind of just stayed stuck in it. And now they're kind of feeling free. Like the, yeah, look at this. Are you kidding me? Wow. The Judgment card is about spiritual awakening too, okay? And it's about knowing, realizing, opening up to more. Knowing and realizing, opening up to more. So this person, yeah, has finally, I feel they're feeling more worthy is what I'm feeling here. For some of you, they may have stayed stuck in a situation that they weren't happy in because they were feeling unworthy. Now with the Empress coming out, I feel like they're starting to realize their own worth and realize that they too deserve to be happy. And setting themselves free is what liberates them. And of course, marriage was coming through for someone when the Judgment card fell out. I was talking about the Nine of Pentacles, but it doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a lot of different things. It could even be freeing themselves from like a toxic family dynamic. And now they're out on their own and they're feeling single and independent and knowing what they deserve and kind of going for it, you know? They're just feeling all, all around um, better, feeling good on the inside. Very, very nice energy here. I have to say, this whole reading today, it has been beautiful. The energies are very, very beautiful in the collective right now. Mm. Six of Cups. Feeling like reconnecting here. And revisiting the past could be that you, you know, revisiting the past. So I feel like this is about coming back together, you know, with, with you, someone that they feel a deep soul bond with, you know. Whoa feisty little fella. Ooh, that's why. Passion off the charts. Feeling feisty <laughs> in more than one way. 
keeping it PG here for YouTube, okay? But feeling feisty in all kinds of ways about you. The lover's card. Deep, powerful love. Soul love. Wanting to come together. Choosing one another. Choosing to reconnect. That's a beautiful message. Nice. Yeah, so now it's about choosing to reconnect. And really kind of move forward and with a connection here that they feel worthy of, you know? Yeah, you're... We got two immediately. I barely even shuffled. But um, your person at some point was feeling not worthy is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Let me grab these. Had to put the deck away. Wow. Look at these two. They both kind of, the imagery is very similar. You know, it's not quite the same, but it's very similar. Um, Ten of emotions is about the happily ever after. And the sun is about pure happiness, joy, and bliss. See, I told you they were feeling more happy. So because they're feeling more happy, the universe is delivering more things to be happy about, more things to be grateful for. Um, it's beautiful. They're feeling amazing. And they're wanting to reciprocate. Ten of emotions. Now, I am feeling here. This is complete heart fulfillment. And I feel like they want to tell you that you completely fulfill their heart that they want forever with you this is about you know marriage family um deep powerful love and fulfillment heart fulfillment it's beautiful and yeah because it came out on the seven of swords too i feel like it it has to do with their emotions you know they want to express those emotions mm. very nice so they're feeling guided to speak a truth about how they feel okay crystal number three's person how do they feel let's get some oracle cards now to further clarify crystal number three's person how do they feel at this time whoa we have two Ooh. I like these. Connection and threshold, guys. Wow. So beautiful energy to come through. They feel the strength of this connection and they're wanting to come forward now. You know, this is like the change is about to happen. Some sort of big shift is about to transpire here on the threshold. Oops, <laughs> sideways on the threshold of change. So big message there too on the threshold of exploring this connection very nice bottom of the deck hold on muse I was just feeling that they were strong strong about an emotional choice okay yeah I was just feeling like wow they're feeling pretty strong and moving forward and oops and spirits at bottom of the muse here bottom of the deck Muse Tarot, so seven of emotions. So they're feeling strong about the choice they have to make. Mm. Daydreaming of the future, too. Um, maybe daydreaming of the future is making them feel strong, too, because they're starting to see the possibilities for the future. Yeah, that was that was an extra message there. So we're just going to pu put it there for now. Um, but yeah, feeling strong about making a choice and about you know something about the future too so i feel like thinking about the connection with you being that heart fulfilled makes them feel um very strong and confident you know in themselves someone that again may have not been confident in the past and by the way 12 12 just crossed the timer so a number coming through there for someone also Pisces energy coming through. Nostalgia. Yeah, they're feeling, they're definitely drawn, oh, and true love on the bottom. Okay, so they're definitely drawn to you. Um, they do feel the power of this connection, feeling very nostalgic, looking back on memories that you've made, 
and possibly even dreaming of more more of that with this card here wanting to experience more of those beautiful memories with you and they're feeling this powerful true love energy for you as well very strong powerful i mean the empress is about unconditional love nurturing you know being in their power that's why i was feeling their feeling so strong we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world ah so they're wanting some alone time some sexy time okay <laughs> that's what was coming through on the lovers too yeah they're wanting some closeness some physical intimacy here very nice maybe a weekend getaway maybe that night magic hmm that could have something to do with that too Maybe it's a, a, like a weekend getaway or a, you know, even a day away is something like that where you can have some alone time. What else? We have seduction. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Uh, feeling seduced by your energy. Wanting to, yeah, look at this, hooking up. <laughs> That's funny that came through earlier and I was like well not hooking up in that way and I don't feel like that's what this is about okay I don't feel like this is about only the physical connection I do feel like it's about the heart there's a lot of love energy here okay um, but it is about really wanting to kind of experience each other in the physical okay um, flirting romance that getting together there in the beginning coming through again so wanting to spend time dating it says on that card so for someone it could be dating that could be you know them asking you on a date if you haven't gone on a date with this person okay we have self-love so choosing themselves that's exactly what I was feeling here exactly and it's gonna fall right near that nine of pentacles see very synchronistic yeah they're choosing themselves now it's time you know they could have been stuck somewhere and they were just kind of allowing themselves to be unhappy because they didn't feel like they deserved more and now they're choosing themselves so very nice energy there i'm using different decks today you'll be like huh yes yeah, decks i haven't used in a while i was really drawn to them today and it's been a beautiful reading, so, <laughs> okay, um, I don't know, I'm going to see as I touch these, are these my cards, because there's a lot here, okay, let's see, we have communication is key, your hard work is paying off, your commitment is being tested, surrender to the divine and meditate and contemplate, wow, okay, yeah, when I picked them up, I was told to take them, so, meditate and contemplate so they're meditating and contemplating next moves okay really and there's pisces again for you pisces that came through a moment ago um they're really kind of wanting to be clear on next steps surrendering to the divine so trusting in the universe okay so they're feeling that level of trust with the universe beautiful your commitment is being tested Okay, now I feel like the commitment is being tested. It's a commitment to themselves here. Okay. Are you really going to go the distance? Are you really going to follow your heart here? Right? Yeah. So I feel like it's themselves. Their, their, their commitment is being tested. The universe is seeing if they're ready, you know. But I do feel like they are. Look at this. We have Capricorn coming through as well. Your hard work is paying off. So whatever they're working on, the internal work that they've done is really starting to pay off and communication is key. So they're wanting to communicate and we also have Gemini here. Um, I did ask for more zodiac signs. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but sometimes they come through, sometimes they don't. I used to use these cards and then the, um, not these cards, well the other cards too, the moons, when they come through, I don't always point out the zodiac sign, only when spirit tells me to, but I did ask for more zodiac signs um, before this reading, so I have been getting more, um, sometimes on these cards, you know, on different cards as well, 
but uh yeah so if that resonates with you as well we have gemini capricorn pisces came through a couple times here okay because i rely on spirit i'm not an astrologer like i do i love that stuff don't get me wrong like i'm a capricorn and capricorn is here so um but yeah i mean i do like it and i do enjoy it but i i don't really know the depths of that <laughs> Um, I allow my spirit guides to kind of guide me through these readings. So that's why I asked for their help with sending more of that through for you. Okay. Let's get more. Oops. This needs to go back with there. Okay. And get this deck here. For crystal number three, how does their person feel? For crystal number three. Yeah, I find it all very amazing how all the star signs and you know sun moon rising venus i know a little bit but i'm no expert for sure <laughs> um and i do like love all that stuff for sure Ooh, fancy flyer we have insecure see i told you in the past they felt that way i don't feel like that's a current energy for them i feel like this is just letting us know that what i was feeling was right they were insecure in the past and they were feeling unworthy okay and look where it's falling right near that nine of pentacles so in the past they were feeling insecure and that was what was kind of keeping them stuck unconditional love beautiful so they're really loving you very deeply and look where that one's falling right near the empress which is about unconditional love this is beautiful very synchronistic what else please crystal number three's person how are they feeling how do they feel crystal number thank you we have strong i knew it and communicative nice so strong and communicative Oops. strong and communicative yeah communication is key didn't that just come through a second ago yeah right here yep so communication is key they're feeling like speaking you know their truth saying how they're feeling is really going to be beneficial here is what i feel with this communicative card okay and they are feeling like talking more sorry about the blur i've been having trouble with certain cards today blurring up and then strong so they are feeling strong i was already feeling that they're feeling more strong and ready to move forward so very very nice let's see what else for crystal number three whoa we have a flipper and it is proud nice so they're feeling very proud of themselves this is very good so they're feeling proud that they've really got to this point in their life you know they feel like um look at this energetic and transformational flow see so they've gotten themselves to a good place internally feeling like they're flowing um with the universe here it's very very nice that was fast we have optimistic so yeah they're feeling positive for the future really looking at what can be with these awakening and judgment you know really looking at the bright side of things you know i deserve better i deserve more and now i'm on my way to it and the universe is about to deliver here so very very nice what else for crystal number three how does their person feel this is great energy to be in though wanting to reciprocate feeling that love very deeply making you make them very happy with that sun and ten of emotions completely fulfilling their heart okay we have calm so they're feeling calm, cool, collected at times. You know, they're really kind of keeping their um, emotions regulated is what I'm feeling here. Hmm. Keeping their emotions regulated. That could be um, in times of kind of like adversity. They're still kind of keeping calm through it. So that's good. They're not letting outside events kind of get them you know angry or upset or anything like that they're just kind of going with the flow you know that that universal flow very nice and proud of themselves for how far they've come is what i feel 
How does crystal number three's person feel? Well, we have accepting and bored. Oh, okay. So they could be a little bit kind of, there could be boredom in their life. Like something in their life might be boring them, you know, like maybe their job or maybe their friend group or something like that, you know, kind of feeling like they need that change, you know, wanting change and accepting that. Yeah, it could be that they have to accept that some things just aren't working out, you know, um, and look at this. Yeah. Gain momentum. With change on the horizon, we can gain momentum. Uh -huh. Understimulated, yes. Yeah. So they're understimulated at, the, at this moment in time in their life, you know? And that's what could have sparked this change. Mm. Very nice. So yeah, they were feeling bored, maybe, you know, kind of just mundane lifestyle or something, you know, or a friend group. And they were like, you know, this needs to change. This isn't working out for me. This isn't where I want to be, you know. And then they made the change. They're accepting that it had to change. And they're making that change, making that choice, feeling strong enough to do so. Okay, let's get some message cards from them. And then we're going to also get some guidance cards as well. Message cards from Crystal Number Three's person. How do they feel? Messages from crystal number three's person. How do they feel? I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. And, ooh, I need to tell you the truth. So I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So yeah, they might have taken you for granted at some point, you know, um, maybe pushed your love away, okay? When they weren't able to reciprocate. I need to tell you the truth. Yeah, so there's some sort of truth they're wanting to speak. We had that here with the Seven of Swords. Okay. What else? So they're wanting to tell you how they truly feel. That Ten of Emotions. How you make them so happy and fulfill their heart. Nice. Yes, I've been working on myself and not this. I am not the same as I was before. Yeah, I was definitely feeling that. There's a lot of inner work that this person has been doing and again it might not be worthiness for all of you you know that might not have been what your person was working on but for some of you that is what they were working on it was coming through here you'll know of course what your person was working on uh, more so than a general reading will you know always trust yourself i've been manifesting you mm -hmm. yes sirree that was the first message out in this reading so yes they have been and again i felt like journaling or there's visualizations there's something going on here okay let's get you some guidance cards <laughs> guidance for crystal number three in this situation or connection guidance for crystal number three Guidance for crystal number three. We have grateful. Okay, so we'll go over this one since only one popped out. I'm so used to like 14 of them all popping out at once. No, I'm just kidding. Grateful. Find the good in the moment that you are in. Don't worry about things that are not going your way. Okay, so being grateful for the present moment. Very important here. Okay, just enjoying the moments that you share maybe with this person. And not worrying about it if it's not going exactly as you plan. The universe doesn't make mistakes. So just know that everything is happening as it should. Whoop. We have find your spark and trust. Okay. So find your spark. Do something you're passionate about. You know, when you do something that you're passionate about, you're in flow. You're in flow energy. And then the universe can deliver more to you more of that feel good energy and then trust yeah i just said this with this one trust that everything is happening as it should trust the universe go with the flow so find your passion find your spark do something you're passionate about get into that flow and watch everything you know kind of unfold okay let's get one more for crystal number three guidance in this situation 
Or this connection. Guidance for crystal number three, please. Guidance for crystal number three. Here we go. We have raise your vibration. Work on focusing on what you want and really feeling the emotion you would feel if you had it now. Yeah, that's working with the universe. This is manifesting energy, okay? Working on focusing on what you want and really feeling the emotion as if it's already there right now. So very important messages and guidance coming through for you as well. So instead of focusing on the lack of the thing that you want being there, focus on it's here now. How will you feel? How will you feel? Think about it. Really go deep and really feel how it would feel right now and get into that vibration. That is where you need to kind of keep yourself, right? You kind of have to maintain that vibration for the universe to keep delivering things that will align with that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you for today. Crystal number three. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.